if there's no other testimonies, then we'll go right into our uh, scripture reading. Um, can we all stand? Uh, today's scripture reading comes from Psalms 46, verses 1 through 11. The, one, the, the whole chapter. Psalms 46, verses 1 through 11. I'll read the first verse, and then you'll read the second, and so on until we get to verse 11. Verse 11, we'll read together. Psalms 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not be feared, though the earth be removed, and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Sailor. There is a river the streets whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. Is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Yes, he is. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he has made in the earth. He maketh war to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariots in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. All together, verse 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Amen. Let the Lord have a blessing to read of his word. At this time, we're going to go into our altar prayer. If you like, you may come forward and kneel at the altar. If you choose, you may stay at your seat. Altar prayer. Our pastor will lead us to the throne of God. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. 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 Does anybody have any problems believing that our nation needs prayer? Amen. Anybody got any questions at all about the fact that we need to we need to alert and alarm the atmosphere with God's presence? Amen. Amen. That's what prayer is. Prayer is a declaration of dependence, asking God to saturate our atmosphere. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Oh Lord, our Lord. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Amen. Father, our hearts rejoice in the midst of the remorse. Amen. Our hearts rejoice in the midst of the resentment of, of the awful and hurtful things that have happened in our nation. In the midst of it, we can still say, to you be the glory this Amen. Sunday morning. In the midst of all of the downs, thank you for being a God who lifts us up. Yes. Thank you for being a God who wraps your arms around us in the midst of times of uncertainty and unfairness. Even now, Lord, as we've gathered in this place of worship, we hallow your name. We bless and praise and magnify you today, Lord. Out of all of the images that would come into the screen of our minds right now, May we cast them all aside and 
and declare that you are Lord. You are God and God all by yourself. That you're still large and in charge. So Lord, as we as we stop to, to give reference and reflection to all that has occurred this week, we're so grateful that we serve a God who is still able able to keep us, able to take care of us, able to sustain us during these times of uncertainty. Thank you for being that kind of God. Now, Lord, as we as we've gathered, we just not only thank you and bless you and praise you, but we need you. We need you, Father, to be God in every one of those parents' lives that lost their children so unjustly, so insanely. A God who can give peace that doesn't even make sense, Lord. A peace that passes even their own understanding. Thank you for being that kind of God today. And then, Lord, we pray for you to be God in the midst of the, the, the racial inequities that have become so apparent lately. A God who one day promises to, to bring every mountain down and lift every valley, straighten up every crooked path. Thank you for being the kind of God that's going to make every wrong all right. So Lord, all of these concerns, many that we cannot enumerate, many that go beyond our own understanding, we just ask you to be God in every one of them, Lord. God in the political arena as our president and Vice presidents have all kinds of issues to deal with. God in the military world, Lord, where, where there are top secret issues that we cannot, should not know. That you'll be God in the midst of all of those uncanny and uncertain scenarios, Lord. God in our physical bodies where cancer would love to wreak havoc. You can be God and make it behave today. All of our cares, Lord. Our children, our choices, our family, our future. We just, we just lay it at the foot of the cross today. And Lord, we claim what your word has told us that we can claim. That in you we are more than conquerors. That in you, Lord, we, we are more than victors. No longer needing to simply be victimized by a mean world. So in the name of Jesus, Lord. We just claim the victory. We pray, Father, for those who are in seasons of struggle and trial. We pray, Father, today for broken hearts. We pray today, Lord, for confused minds and families that have been disarrayed and dismantled by a dysfunctional world. We pray today, Lord, that you would just be God in every one of our life scenarios. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for our mistakes. Cleanse us, we pray, from all unrighteousness. And Lord, the, the areas and issues that we can't even put in words, we just put them in your hands. The issues that we can't think through, we put them in your hands. And ask that we would just have the good sense to trust you, to believe that if you brought us here, you can keep us. So right now, Lord, we claim your promises. The promise that you gave us never to leave us. The promise that you made us, Father, that you would be with us. The promise that you would go by us and stand with us. We claim the promises today. Your promises that are yea and amen. We claim them today. We thank you in advance. What you're going to do, how you're going to work, how you're going to move. We we thank you in advance. All these things we do right now in the strong name of Jesus. Let us all say together, amen. 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 amen.
purpose of worship, and I, I mean that, saints. Thank you. Some things that need to happen to our beings is not always academic. Sometimes it's not a matter of knowledge or insight. Sometimes it's just a matter of the presence. Amen. Thank you. I was cheating a little bit during uh, worship this morning because I was outside. And so being outside, since I wasn't inside the sanctuary, I had my eyes open. Yeah, Hopefully y'all had y'all's eyes closed, amen? But while my eyes was open, shouldn't have had my eyes open when I was outside, I was looking and I saw this little fella in the worship service, y'all, while the scripture was being read and while you guys were preparing, he just was messing with his daddy's hands. He was just messing with his daddy. He just read the scriptures. I don't know how he can do it. He just <laughs> looked fella messing with his hands. And then, and then when he got through, he just sat right up under his dad. Amen. You know that's not academic. Amen. That that ain't something that has anything to do with an intellectual awareness. That has to do with the presence. Amen. 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 That has to do with presence. And I said all that to say that that's what worship does, y'all. It ushers in the presence of God. Amen. Sometimes there is no explanation. How come you all right? You ain't got no business being all right. Amen. Enough licks have you. You've been hit with enough licks this week. Life has knocked you down enough to where you ought to be all wrong. But you got in his presence and you're all right. Y'all need to know this. When it don't make no sense, here's what God says. He says it has something to do with his peace that goes beyond the limits of our understanding. Amen. Don't make no sense. But I'm all right. I'm all right. And I want to encourage us to encourage others. I really do want to do that. I, I still don't want to mess with the sermon, so I don't want to give no hints. But do you know that there are conditions, literal, physiological conditions that occur when people don't get touched enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the truth, y'all. Yeah. There have been there have been there have been all kinds of tests done Baby. where babies didn't get enough touches, and with all of the necessary nourishment, with all of the necessary accommodations, meaning they were fed, they had the necessary vitamins, and they died. Mm -hmm. They died because they just didn't get enough touches. And so, so I say all of that to say, y'all, the world is being beat up. Yeah. If you look at the news, you got a right to be fearful, amen? Mm -hmm. you you got a right to be concerned about sending your kids to school. Amen. you got a right to be concerned about going to the grocery store, amen? Yeah, yeah. you got a right to be, but you need to know that in spite of all of those rights that you have, there's some wrongs going on. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just want to encourage you to encourage people to come back to church. You know, the statistics say, for the first time in the history of America, more folk don't go to church than do. More folk don't go to church than do. Matter of fact, the statistics say now, this is another great, uh, alarming statistic for me as a parent and a pastor, is that now when our children go off to college, even if they were raised in church, Amen. when they go off to college, they're oftentimes so inundated by another world's mindset mm -hmm. that many of them lose their connection to church. Mm -hmm. And in many instances, they never recommit. They may go occasionally, but they never recommit because what, what happened during those formative years is that they were given another ideology, another way to think. And so I just want to encourage you to encourage folk, loved ones, neighbors, friends, members. Just tell them that, you know what, I can't understand what's going on, but I'm going to church. Amen. I can't figure out how the things are so wrong and so crazy, but I'm going to church. And, and, and you know what, I know I'm going to be better going to church than I am not going to church. Amen. I know I'm going to be better not going to church. I don't. I don't see it as, as a mistake that Satan made. I see it as a mistake that Satan deliberately and intentionally did oh, yeah. when he went to a church and killed nine people. Mm -hmm. Now, it was a mistake, 
Because God can make the wrongs all right, amen. But I see him intelligent, intentionally doing that because he wants to stop us from worshiping. And so I, I, I forgive me for taking that much time. I, I talked with a beloved a relative of mine just yesterday. He's the pastor of a mega church. And he said to me just last night, he said, Matt, people aren't coming to church anymore. Mega church. I mean, he, this church has thousands of people. He said, man, I can, I can turn around and throw a rock backwards and don't hit nobody in church. Because oh, wow. the, the, the church at large is, I think we in this generation are genuinely experiencing the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 4 that there is a great falling away. 2 Thessalonians 2 makes reference to the fact that there is a great falling away. And even though that has got to happen, because the Bible prophesied, Amen. it don't have to happen in your family. Amen. It don't have to happen in your neighbors. Amen. It don't have to happen with the people that you have some sphere of influence on. So I want to encourage you, let's, let's do that the loved ones that are in our lives lets us encourage them to go back to church. Amen. 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 If the Bills can, can build another stadium that's going to cost several billions of dollars across the street hmm. from where that one is now and be so unwise to not even put a dome over top of it, if they can still want to get together, we ought to want to get together. Amen. Amen. I, I almost want to say if you're dumb as we want to get together, we ought to want to get together too. Amen. 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 To me, that's dumb. Amen. 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 But, 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 I mean, if I'm going to move, I ain't going to move across the street. Amen. <laughs> if I'm going to move into another neighborhood. Amen. Amen. If I'm going to buy another house and it's going to cost into the buildings, I'm going to do it across the street. And it ain't going to look like the last house I just came out of. Amen. Amen. The bills are going to do that. But their whole goal is to still come together. They still want to get together. So I want to encourage us. Let's encourage people. Let's encourage uh, folk that once went to church. Ask them, did it hurt you? Were you bothered by going to church? If you weren't bothered and if it didn't hurt you, there's still value in going to church. Amen. 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 Took a lot, a lot of time for that. I, I need to say this, man. I want to say thank you to Midtown thank for you. the send-off that you gave to Brother Jim. Amen. Amen. Well, that family will. Well, I love them, and they were they were they were the better because of Midtown Choir. Matter of fact, the, the preacher that was in the pulpit said, "Man, it sounded like you had a whole choir back there." I said, "It was a whole choir." <laughs> and he said, "Man, what a great worship experience!" So thank you, Midtown. For your support. Uh, thank you, Brother Eddie. Uh, I think he actually took off the work. And our drummer came. Thank y'all so much. It, it means much to a family member. The Bible says, Blessed are they who die in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And Amen. 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 blessing with God. God bless you. Thank you for being a blessing to, to, to Jimmy. And, 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 and even in the midst of some things that were a little challenging, uh, the Lord blessed. Yes, you know, yes. Jemiah just gave me the biggest hug. <laughs> I said, well, oh, thank you, Lord. You're, you're still doing miracles. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, I didn't understand you. Okay. I, I do want to acknowledge our graduates. Uh, we had some, some folk that graduated, and then some folks that matriculated, meaning you just moved up to the next level, you haven't graduated yet. But for all of our graduates, would you stand so we can at least acknowledge you? Amen. 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 Those of you who are graduates, I always say to them, if you don't let me know and, and invite me, you don't get no gift. Amen. <laughs> My legitimate response is I did not know. Amen. Amen. I say what the kids say, I did not know. Amen. No. So I want to say to all of you, congratulations. 
We're always glad to see our people making advances and moving forward. God bless you and God keep you. All right. Uh, we're going to ask that the, as the choir gets ready to bless us in song, that we'll get ready to worship. Amen, y'all? Jesus says, I would that there would be those who would worship me in spirit and in truth. Let's do that.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who can be against us? So, so when we learn to understand how God looks at us, then we, we, we're all right. We'll be all right. Amen. No matter what we face, no matter what circumstances we endure, if God be for us, who can be against us? So when Jesus says yes, it's yes. yes. Somebody else can say no. Amen. But if Jesus says yes, yes Lord. don't make no difference what nobody else says. Amen. 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 Jesus says yes. Nobody can say no. God bless you. Amen. But ask now if you would stand, please, make ready that we might honor God in our giving. And, and, and saints, I'm still convinced of this. I've not had anybody to show me differently. That if you honor God in your giving, God will honor you in your living. Is that right, Sister Melanie? Amen. Will he take care of you? Hallelujah. When we know to give God the glory, God puts glory in our soul. Would you everybody stand, please? Go right around the rear from our usher and follow the directions of our usher.
Fire.